Fall would not be complete, my friends, without pumpkin. Whether mm. you're a fan of sweet or savory recipes, we've got you covered. Jamie Price is the creator of the Lifestyle blog. So happy you liked it. She wrote a post that highlights 24 pumpkins and squash recipes to enjoy this fall. Wow, that looks great. And she joins us live on Skype to show us dinner ideas that are perfect for Halloween. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hello, how are you guys doing? We're doing She's great a now. Fortune Jamie teller. is a fortune like teller. That. If we have time at the end of the segment, we'll have her uh, read our futures, but okay. it, we'll have to play that by ear. But let's get to a little cooking here. I love the, the title of this, Smoky Pumpkin and Gouda Quesadillas. Oh, how do we mm -hmm. do this? These are delicious. So a handful of ingredients goes into this one. <laughs> so um, how cute, right? You can, cute. you can really carve out whatever you want on the top of your quesadilla. Obviously, very fittingly, I chose a jack-o'-lantern, right? So but you cute. can choose whatever works for you. So I already prepped this sauce. It's a cup of uh, canned pumpkin, right? So super simple, um, a chipotle and adobo sauce. And then some oh. warm spices like cumin, smoked paprika, a little cinnamon in here. So I'm spreading this all over. So you get that nice smoky hit from the chipotles right. along with the uh, smoked paprika. But to take it up even more of a smoky notch, I have some smoked Gouda right here. So a cup and a half of that goes right on, spread it out all the way to the edges. And what's fun about this too is that kids can help with this. So if you have hungry little goblins and Monsters, ghouls that yes. you're dressing up for <laughs> Halloween, right? They can help cut out their own Jack Lantern face or whatever they like. Um, the scariest thing could be 2020, right? right. So yeah, put just yes. like those right numbers, two zero, two zero. <laughs> um, and then this goes right into a cast iron skillet. So I'll have a little oil on the bottom here, pop it in, and then you'll broil it to finish. So it gets a nice brown top. I'd spray it with a little bit of oil and that's it. And then you can serve it. You can see I have a little sour cream there with a little ghoul face and some cilantro and salsa. Cute. Um, really, whatever you would like to eat with your quesadilla. I so love this. delicious so you're, recipe. You're not yeah. flipping the quesadilla because right. you don't want to mess up the filling. You do the right. bottom side right. and then you put it in the oven to broil it. I love that. That looks delicious. Exactly. Yummy. Yes. Jamie, this is yeah. crazy that on your blog, I, you put 24 pumpkin and squash recipes together. I don't think I have amassed more than two pumpkin and squash recipes <laughs> in my whole life. I, um, I gotta check What are out. some other highlights on this list that people have really been responding well to? Yeah, so obviously the, the quesadilla that I shared was super fun just because it was so Halloween themed. But there's a little bit of everything for everyone. So I have some recipes that also called for canned pumpkin, but also a variety of different squash. So I have a kibasha squash and turkey chili, mm. um, which is really delicious and hearty and warm. Um, I have, oh my gosh, one of my most favorite recipes on there are these roasted butternut squash stuffed shells with sausage. They oh. are... Whoa. Beyond delicious that to the point. Great. Yes, my husband, family, friends, neighbors, everyone has genuinely loved them. So that's a delicious one to check out as well. Yeah. One quick one that I want to call out too for yes. the littles out there. Yes. So um, we've all maybe perhaps made chicken tenders at home, right? Even for if sure. they come straight out of a bag. But if you've made them at home, you can you know that sometimes the trick is getting that crunch on them. Mm -hmm. Outside of frying them, if you want to bake them, the trick is potato chips. But to take them even more over the fall threshold, I've added apple chips to it and then serve it with oh. a side of pumpkin ketchup, which sounds like it would Whoa. be, you know, a little odd, a little bit of an interesting profile for the flavors, but it actually works so well. So again, canned pumpkin in that one, you've got some apple cider vinegar, some brown sugar, cinnamon, really bringing in those warm spices. Oh, that it looks great. I bet that is delicious. So and it yeah. looks oh, like you do so get a delicious. really good crunch on that, but then that. the crunch is like loaded with fall flavor. Right, exactly. It is a, a, a fall explosion in your mouth. There you go. And All then right. you've Perfect. got a, a pumpkin pot pie. Can this be mm -hmm. true? Oh, you guys, yes. And I made them individual, right? So you can Cute. make these in tiny little ramekins. You could certainly make a full size as well. But really, this is just omitting the chicken. You could certainly keep it in. But I swapped the chicken for uh, butternut squash. So it includes all the usual suspects um, that you would already find in a pumpkin pot or in a pot pie, rather. It includes carrots celery, peas, mushrooms, um, and I use a little shortcut. So a lot of the uh, creamy mixtures like that that you'll find are um, include a can of condensed soup, right? And I'm not 
not pushing that aside, maybe a little bit, but I make my own um, homemade condensed soup mix. So it's using a handful of ingredients that you probably have in your pantry or refrigerator. That's super si simple to whip up and just toss right in. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Well, Jamie, yeah. I think we've run out of time, so now we can't have our yeah. fortunes read, but I'm sure that oh, they were both going to be you really... made me hungry. That's my really fortune. Positive, one would hope. <laughs> Jamie, thank you so Four much. Hair. Happy Halloween to you. <laughs> Good luck Jamie. with the blog. Good having you back on the show. Thank we guys. posted a link to these pumpkin and squash recipes along with a link to Jamie's blog, so happy you liked it. Up on our website, which is TwinCitiesLive.com. Coming up next,